So hello and welcome back and this time we're taking a look at the heap 3 challenge and this time we don't have a lot of logic going on here in the main function. Um, thus we have to exploit the gl malloc implementation itself and our goal is to call the winner function and how we do that is by abusing the unlink macro which we will take a look at um, shortly in but first of all, let's um, go over the high-level concept. First of all, we want to set C's um, previous in use bit to zero, so it thinks the previous um, chunk is not in use. And uh, then it will try to um, join two free chunks together, the previous chunk of C and C when we free it and uh, that will allow us um, to uh, abuse uh, the un unlink um, macro that is used to join these two chunks and as we can see right here uh, the string copy is used so uh, there's no size checking so whenever we write over for example when we write too many bytes right here um, into our uh, second argument or third argument if you will but the second command line argument and copy that into b then we can override um, header information of c and that allows us to do um, what we wish to do, which is to uh, unset the previous in use bit of the C chunk, then we, when we free it, it will try to join uh, these two chunks because it thinks they are both free. And yeah, let's take a look at how exactly that works. There's a great article uh, on frag, which I will link in the, in the description. So our regular chunk will look like this and a free chunk uh, will look like this and that is really important for us because um, the previous size uh, um, will determine uh, where the chunk begins and if we take a look here we're using string copy which uh, ends on a null byte so they have a trick right here to define negative numbers so we can actually define a fake free chunk inside our our c chunk um, which will allow us um, yeah to easily write a fake chunk yeah basically if there is a chunk previous to this and we have the address of this, we can just subtract uh, the previous size and we end up at the start of the previous chunk. So let's take a look how the unlink itself works. And that should be somewhere down here, uh, exactly right here. So this is how the unlink is defined. But for us, uh, this one is uh, much clearer to read. So let's go over, over this. So um, the unlink basically wants to set the forward pointer of uh, the, the, the backward pointer of the forward um, of the forward chunk which is at offset um, 12 to our neck uh, to the To our next chunk spec pointer and it uh, wants to set the uh, forward pointer of our um, of the next uh, backward chunk to um, the next forward pointer so it basically removes um, the next from a double linked list if that makes sense so first of all I want to Um, open the heap 3 challenge in GDB and 
want to break at main, then I want to take a look at main. I can't type today. So, yeah, no. And let's take a look at main. So we want to somehow redirect code execution by abusing the unlinked. What we want to do is to redirect code execution to winner. So what we could do is to somehow write to the global offset table the address of um, at the address of printf, or as we can see here, um, actually puts get u gets used. So we want to overwrite the global offset table entry for puts with a pointer to um, our winner function. But if we actually think about that, if our, let's say, our forward pointer, let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's think about this. If our forward pointer is pointing to um, our global offset entry of puts, and our backward pointer is pointing to um, the address of winner, then oh, I've closed it again. But let's. But if we imagine. Our next forward plus twelve something something like that um, gets set to next and then the back pointer. Um, that would work because we have our forward pointer at the global offset table. Uh, it puts minus 12, of course. Um, that would work. We could all write this, but the next step would be our next. And then the back pointer plus eight, I think, is the offset. And we wanted to set that to the forward pointer or anything, really. <coughs> if we take a look at this, um, our back pointer, which is the address of winner, which is in the text the text section, plus eight, we will set to this. And that would fail because it's not writable. So we actually want to um, place a pointer to shellcode on the heap right there. That calls winner. So actually we want to have shellcode on the heap that calls winner. Um, that's our first plan. So um, our first step is to actually create a shellcode. Create a shellcode. Or yeah, let's create a shellcode first. And we can simply do that by this is the address of winner. So we want to um, push that address and then we want to return
and we want to put the shellcode on the heap. Like that. Then our third step would be to over to unset um, C's header with our second write. want to set a negative value to the previous size, which is the first entry in the header. Like that, that would be minus 16. And then we want to construct our fake chunk. And after that, I think we are pretty much done. Let's give it a try. So, let's always take our notes with us. Um, one second, let's make this a little bit smaller right here and make this one a little bit bigger. So, let's quit out of GDB and actually let's exit right here. So we can use resin to to actually create our shell code, which is just this um, and a return. So that would be our shell code. So we have our first part done. Then we want to put our shellcode on the heap. And let's see how we can do that. One second. And actually, let's set this to something that takes less space. So let's go into GDB again. And take a careful look at how this heap is constructed, because I want to show you something that we need to take into account. And then I just run it. So as we can see, we don't have a heap quite yet. So let's move forward. And then, actually, let's just run it again because um, with some arguments, it should be much simpler to see. Let's move forward. 
forward a little bit. And now we have a heap right at this address. So this is this might be important to us as well. So heap is right here. And then I actually wanted to show um, how the heaps laid out. So as we can see, we have allocated our first chunk and our second chunk, or actually all three, but they have not been filled yet. So let's move forward. It should be three steps from now. And then take a look at the heap again. And as we can see right here, um, our first argument gets moved into right into here. And that is eight bytes from the heap's start. So let's move forward until it's um, freed again and take a look at the heap again. And as we can see right here, it gets replaced with an address that points to the next free, free chunk. So we need to take that into account because that happens before we call the printf. So yeah, if we would execute our shell code right here, it would try to execute this. So we need to take that into account, which is another four bytes. So we have an offset of 12. which should give us um, a C right here. Oh, let's do it differently. Plus 12 over. Let's do it like this. Plus 12 is C, which is Start of the shell code right there. So we could actually craft a payload that puts our shell code into that address right now. So what we want to do is we want to have four bytes. So yeah, then we want to have our shell code which is let's actually just copy that right here That would be our first step. So our first argument in sum would be something like this. And then we want to execute print. And then we want to have an A but four times, then we want to add our shellcode, which is right here, and that should 
be our first argument. So let's copy it and add it to our call right here so we can easily call it later. First argument. So then we want to unset C's previous in use bit. So we actually need to calculate how many bytes we need in order to overwrite um, C's header because we need to set the previous size as well. And that would be our first entry. So let's take a look at the heap right here. So let's take a look where our second chunk begins. And this is second chunk's header. And here's here begins the data. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And here begins the the C um, chunk's header. So we have. Um, 8 times um, 4 bytes of offset. So let's note that down, which should be 32. So it's actually constructed. Um, right in here. So what we need is of course also the print and we want to have also A's and we want to have that times 32 and then we said we want to set the previous size to F0 and ff like that that should give us um, minus 16 so let's take a look where minus 16 would um, where we would end up with minus 16 which would be four chunks forward so one two three and four And then we want to set the size to something small. And we can just use the same number again. That should be fine. But actually, uh, let's make it as small as possible. That should be only minus four. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be our our ready to go second argument. There we um, go to the um, go to the to C's header with this offset, then we set the previous size, which leads, leads us to our fake chunk that we need to construct with our third uh, string copy, and just set the, sp the size of uh, this chunk to something very small. So that should lead us with this. Now we need to finally construct our fake chunk. So we need to start right here and we have to ha add a padding of 8 bytes because we need to fill up those two
so let's copy this again and construct our fake chunk so we need to first start with an offset of 8 then we want to have our previous size and then on our size again let's just use the ones we have used um, previously these two which should be fine I guess because we don't use them uh, for anything we just want them to be sensible and to not include any zero bytes it's also a thing so we just use the ones we've used previously then then comes the forward pointer and then comes the backward pointer we need to set so our forward point pointer we've set said we want to actually um, point to the global offset table of puts minus um, 12 so let's see this one so it is just this which is just that and that should equal um, a one one C right so I'm sorry but that should that should be it so let's copy that address just for reference I think we don't need this one anymore so our forward pointer is um, B1 zero 04 and zero 08 and now we need to find our backward pointer and we've said that should be our shellcode right and our shellcode was at at this address so let's paste it for reference again And also write that in reverse byte order. Zero C X C zero X. Um, then we have zero four and also zero eight. And that should be our last argument that we need. So let's see if we let's see if we didn't mess up here mess up here then it should work but if we copy everything why does it say command not found it's because we have a s can 
new line right here. Shouldn't actually use a new line, that's for sure. Uh, we just messed up um, the new line, so yeah. Thanks for watching again, and yeah, see you next time.